I have a deep appreciation for old things, classic things, things that um, don't come and go in style, but things that are a little bit longer lasting. Classic cars, classic motorcycles, leather. The common thing is the, um, the longevity and the and enduring style and nature of these things. It's um, really unpleasant to watch people buy things, use it once and then throw it away. When I'm making something, it really helps uh, to sketch it out. It's like it's taking the idea and bridging that gap between a thought and an end product. From the outset, my designs with leather are typically asymmetrical. And so I took that and, and that became a bit of a, a signature. You are your own worst critic, um, so when you, when you land on something that you think is okay, you stick with it. I think it's really important for people to look after the things that they've got. So to design things that aren't subject to this fast fashion idea, to me that transcends trends, it transcends um, fashion. The first thing that I actually designed and made out of leather was a, um, an A4 pouch. It's, it sounds odd, but you develop a relationship with this artifact. It becomes part of your routine, your repertoire as an owner of one of these things. Leather is one of those materials that it's, it, it actually starts its life when you've, when you've finished making it. It develops a scarring and scratches and all sorts of things, but that adds to the character, it doesn't detract from the character. And it, it, it holds a story of, of where you've taken it and what you've used it for. Uh, to me that's really powerful. <laughs>